Hi, um, I've got most of my bits in now, so I'm going to do a little bit of a collection. It's my James Bond collection. I'm not a mint in box collector. I like to take my figures out, display them, play with them, put them back, watch them. So, as far as I'm concerned, most people's collections are everyday items, which I've got that aren't going to increase in value if that's why you do it uh you can't take it to the grave of you so why not enjoy it that's that's always been my philosophy in my collection and uh, i'd say 98 percent of it is actually loose um if it's in packaging it's just because i haven't got around to taking it out uh i can understand if you have movie props or very very rare autographs where someone only signs signed like you know once in a blue moon or you know moving memorabilia that actually was involved in films or related uh but mine's you know a collection that uh i love and i can display and other people can enjoy not boxes sitting on shelves and uh yeah there's enough about me ranting i'm just like i am a loose collector so uh, I just wanted to explain that, you know, I love toys. I love being able to play with them and enjoy them. So, yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around. Right. So going from this end, uh, I've just got my few DVDs, my Bond record, my secret agent, uh, money, uh, can compare the market, Meerkat really like that i've got my james bond which means so much to me because my wife bought me this and i've had it i i must have had it between 10 well i'd say for seven to ten years uh i've got my vhs's which i've got a vhs player there i can play my bond films when i'm in here which is pretty cool or any vhs because i've got star wars as well but anyway so and then i've got my dvd i've got my this was my wife's she gave it to me so it's the skull from uh spectre well it's from that uh festival anyway and then we've got my james bond secret service game from the 60s complete packaging is very good condition and i didn't pay an arm and a leg for it i think i paid under a tenner so very happy with that Got my Naomi autograph. Again, I don't overpay for autographs. Uh, if they're fake, they're fake. It's just nice thinking that you have something from it. And uh, yeah, so there you have Bond on set. I love her as Money Penny. And then we've got my obviously N64 GoldenEye game. Best uh, Bond game ever by far. Quite challenging rewarding when you finish it and it, it it punishes you if you uh miss bits to do just got this today world is not enough playstation one game not actually finished that one so i'm gonna actually play it uh got my uh license to kill bits and pieces there very happy to have that got some original books not in the best condition but hey at least i've got some you know, Moonraker by Ian Fleming, how he wrote it. Got my scene it. Uh, paid £2.50 for that. Nothing's been opened inside. So uh, there's still bargains out there. Got my scale electrics. I've got the uh, No Time to Die one. And I've got a James Bond one down there, all played with. As I say, I buy things to enjoy. My Spectre poster. Which is, was uh, stunned on card. I don't know if it's a cinema display piece. But it looks awesome. And then my poster. With all the films on it. With like the covers. And obviously I've got a No Time to Die one there. Moonraker. I found this in a charity shop for a pound. Got my Funko Pops. The sheaf again, Poundland bought them for three pound each. Well, my wife bought me them, so they're always very special. Daniel Craig, 
Uh, I do need to try and get a 12 inch Daniel Craig figure, but it will happen one day. My Spectarine. Uh, Moonraker book. And then we have my Sean Connery Sideshow Collectible. Just got his gun. My Odd Job. I do have the boxes on display as well. Um, I do get quite lucky with bargains like this one. I wasn't bothered about the machine gun, so I'd, you know I picked him up really cheap. Got my Action Man spy. Let me have had this for ages. Got my Timothy Dalton again. I am looking for the Desmond Llewellyn and probably Jaws one. Uh, the the other women ones I'm not that keen on. Especially Zizenia on the top and uh, Mei Ling from uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. I don't like them. So I've got my Timothy Dalton, which I really love. Quite a good likeness. My Piers Brosnan. And then I've got my Jinx, which came in today. I might do a review of her by herself. She's got all her knives going. And I actually quite like that one. I'm a big Hal, Hal Berry fan. I like her Storm and X Men as well, but she's pretty. She was a, she was a good character. She could handle herself. And I say the likeness is uh, pretty good, like for a sideshow. Then I just got my few bits of carts. Again, my wife bought me, so that's more special than anything. Some little cars, and then my. Sand from the beach of where No Man Man with the Golden Gun was filmed. Uh, I didn't pay a fortune for it. The story sounded legit, but I got. But at the end of the day, if it is, that's pretty cool for the rest of my life that I've got some sand from there. If it's a fake, God, you've got to admire the cheek of the person who sold it. So I'm not bothered. <laughs> it's quite funny. So that's my little talking piece, really. Yeah, so like... If I pan out, I'll just give you a little view, if I can, because I've got quite a bit of stuff in this room. That's my Bond collection. means a lot to me, because I can actually enjoy it, see it. It's not stuck on shelves, sideways on. I mean, I can understand people who want to collect it like that. That's entirely up to them. Uh, this stuff will only have small amount of value, really. Uh, probably some bits will be worth more you know they're a bit more pricey that I want to get but on the whole I'm very happy with this collection my wife likes the collection and my kids like the collection so at the end of the day that's what's important it's a talking piece so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed please consider subscribing liking and sharing and I shall see you in the next video